Assalamualaikum. Subha Sandhya Aapko Basa Matara. Assalamualaikum again and good evening everyone. On behalf of Batch of 2011, I welcome all of you for the 129th year celebration of Zaira College, the virtual celebration. Columbus Tahira Vidhuvan, Lankavi Pramukha Pili Pasana Bavata Sandan Kirima Pilivan, Kisima Tarpia Neh. Evagim Columbus Sahira Vidhuvan, Ita, Devanta Saha Vishishta Ityasia, Evanova. Never, never out of the Ekasi, Visi Namovana, Sangwasere Sabrana, Atra Sri Lanka, Muslim Pasala Kona Sahira Vidhuvan, Etahas Atasia Anu, Eki, Pidun and Atra, Eh, other Shapati Vane, Alhamdulillah, as in Adam. Sielu Prashansa Allah to me. So indeed, yeah, it's the motto of our college is Alhamdulillah, which is all praise to Almighty Allah. Evagamus Sahira Vidwale Basal, Gite Arabi Basal Gaina Karna Atar, Ehi Teruma, Denuma Saha, Bhakti Soena, Yak Yavaki, Sahira, Yana Vachani Teruma, Vishishta Tue. Jatika Kautagari, Udu Tepal Karyale, Barana Nagarashala, Saha, Kalu Mudur, Hotele Veni, Vatega, Godenagri, Russia, Kidigre, Kirtima, Udgalekuna, Wapichi, Marikarbi, Naika Twin, Muslim Madia Pranatana, Kidikal Athra, Air Avasane, Sahira, Vidivala Lesser Patria, Esada, Ayelem Aziz, Orabi Pasha, Sidi, Lebe and Mahaturungi, Adas Ekuni. Edas Atasia Anu Diki, Al Madrasatul Zahira, Lesse Liapadin Chibu, Saira Vidivala, Edas Atasia Anu Hatredi, Sisun Dispakun Saman with a boo, Pasalak here. Edas Namasia Ekola Haiti, Madrasatul Zahira, Dutika Pasalak, Lesse Anumatavir. In nineteen eleven, Zahira was promoted as a secondary school. And Firas, if I'm not mistaken, the first principal is O.E. Martinus. Oh, Pratama Vidwal Patilis, O.E. Martinus Mahatya Tamai, Idahas Tamasi Ekola Hedi, Katil Dipuri. Ivagima Varta Mahane, Idahas Dahatun Vasre, Site, Medakwa, Lamayangi, Adyapane, Vagima Danum Kusulata, Silum, Diva, Vardine Kirimasada, Kapa Women, Katil Dipuran Vidwal Patuma, A.R.M. Prisvi, Marikar Matituma. Ivagima Das. It does Namasi at the Hatuni, Mother Satur Zahira, Sahira Vidivale Lesser, Nam Kernella. It does Namasi at the Hatravasari, Pratama Adishisha Sangami, Rashi Mother, Pavatuni. In nineteen fourteen, eleventh of July, the first OBA AGM was held, and in nineteen thirteen, Zaira was named as Zaira College. Evagamidas Namasi at the Hatedi, Sahira Vidivale Kalamana Karite, Maradana Muslim. Only a missing Bardun Bardunatur Evagima Janata Vidivale Barakari Tia Sandha Pradhana Palakama Televisin the Dharma City Law. Currently the school is controlled by the Board of Governors and Board of Governors is headed by Mr. Fauzul Hamid, who is a well known entrepreneur in Sri Lanka. Bese Aurutu Ekasi and Visi Namek Vishta Etihasik Himikamki in a Columbus, Sahira Mata Visi, Daya the Kala Eti, Vastum Bohomea, Vidotum Bohomea, Vishta in Bohomea, Ratata, Mau Ratata Pamana Nova, Located there, Daya the Kala Eti Sisun, Bohomea, Sahira Mata, Daya the Kala Sisun, Lokema Namderu, Vagema Noek Anshavala, Jai Grahan and Levu. Vidotun, Uhudinek, Api, Dana, Atra Inno. In keep the neck, Samoga, Api, Oh, Sangra, Viduhale, Adiapone Labana, Mogoti, Oh, Labu, Addeki, Apat Samoga Vidag and Imeter, Api, Aradanakara, Oh, Gi, Wakitna, Kalin, Sulukale, Apat Samoga Vidag and Imeter. Akin. Thank you, Firaz. It was indeed uh, good to know a bit of history of our college. And uh, our viewers are educated, obviously, from uh, your fact of history. So it was very good to know. And thank you, Firaz, again for the history. So in order to start the live event on a traditional note, I invite Mubin Makin for the recital of Kirat.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء لكن لا تشعر ولا نبل ونكون بشيء من الخوف والجوع والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأموال في والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله وإنا وإنا صدق الله العظيم. Thank you, Mubin. Up next, let's play. Let's pay attention to the national anthem followed by the college song.
physical event listening to your college anthem and the national anthem will always gives you goosebumps and motivation next i would like to invite minhaj the president of the batch of 2011 to do the welcome address thank you akil masoon dear members of the panel honorable minister just of justice mr ali sabri chairman of the board of governors mr fauzul hamid retired major general faris yusuf of sri lanka army deshobandhu professor kyoli di silva captain ag abari principal t marika president of the oba mr alavi mukta and to all others joining assalamu alaikum and a very good evening a warm welcome to everyone joining us today we would like to extend our appreciation to our five guest speakers who have accepted our invitation and joined us today to celebrate the 129th anniversary of zahira college despite their busy schedules i am honored and privileged to deliver the welcome address on behalf of the batch of 2011 during this virtual 129th year anniversary celebration of zahira college i hope everyone participating in the event today will be inspired by the five great sons of zahira who have excelled in their respective fields and brought pride to our alma mater Each speaker has their own inspirational story on how they have achieved immense success in their fields. I know all of you are as enthusiastic as me to hear a few words by these outstanding sons of Zahira. I wish the organizers all the very best in making this a successful event where past, present and future Zahirians will be motivated to reach new heights. Thank you. Over to you Akil Mazum. Thank you, Minhaj. It's indeed five of the greatest sons produced by Zahira is about to explain and talk about their days at Zahira, which inspired them to them for greater heights. Next, I would like to invite Principal of Zahira College, Mr. Trishri Madikar, to do the keynote address and a brief introduction about our speakers. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. And today. we are here to celebrate the 129th anniversary of the college the theme of the today's program is how proud you are to be a zahirian now we have five distinguished all boys of the college they have excelled in their field so let me first of all welcome all of them starting from honorable ali sabri president's council Minister of Justice, a distinguished all boy of the college. Then the Chairman Board of Governors, Mr. Fauzul Hamid, a well-known entrepreneur, Managing Director of Hamidia Group. Then we have the Professor Kyuri De Silva, Professor of Chemistry and Chancellor of Wyambo University of Sri Lanka. And then we have Engineer A. G. A. Bari, an international and international consultant, 
And then we have Major General M.A.E. Yusuf, who is a retired senior army officer. Formerly, when he was the brigadier, he was in charge of the army band and performing arts. Then we have the Secretary, Board, Secretary All Boys Association, Mr. Alavi Mukta, and members of the Board of Governors, members of the staff, members of the Parents Teachers Association, dear students, dear parents, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Assalamu Alaikum. Zahira College is a premier Muslim educational institution. It was founded on 21st of August, 1892. With regard to the opening of the school, the independent paper on the 22nd of August, 1892 states that Mohammedan boys school was declared open last evening at Maradana. The paper cutting is available at the college archives. That exactly tells us the date of or the birth date of the college. And then with 129 years of existent, existence that we are here today to celebrate this particular institution's birth anniversary. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome all of you and also to speak few words on this very important day. And I must be thankful to the president and the executive committee of batch 2011 for organizing this event. From 2013 onwards, we have been every year, we have been conducting this Founders Day. And I'm very happy to see Honorable Minister Ali Sabri, Professor Tiuli De Silva were, were there with us when we conducted some of the uh, events and they delivered the Founders Day oration. I was also happy to note that in 2013, the Founders Day oration was delivered by Mr. SHM, Maruhum SHM Jamil, who did a marvelous job in research article. He made a, a speech with a with lot of research and he delivered that speech more eloquently. Therefore, I'm very happy and thankful to all of you who are gathered here even at this very difficult situation to see that the college is remembered with a lot of gratitude and with the blessings of the, the proud products of the college. Let me once again thank the panel members who have joined here to talk about their school days and how to show the world how proud they are to be Zairians. Ladies and gentlemen, it all happened in 1891 when Marhum Siddi Lebbe delivered a speech at Maradana Mosque. And he was talking about the importance of having a school for the Muslim community. And it ended up on 21st of August, 1892, a setting up a school, which was known then as the Mohammedan Boys School. And I should remember with gratitude the following these members who were instrumental in setting up the school. Mohammed Kasi, Kasim Siddi Lebbe, A.M. Wapichi Marika, Arabi Pasha, I.L.M. Abdul Aziz, N.H.M. Abdul Qadr. They were some of the prominent members who were instrumental in setting up the school. And also I must remember with gratitude Dr. T.B. Jaya, who ran the school in 20s to 40s, around 25 years, and then AMA, Dr. A.M.A. Aziz, around another 13 years, then Dr. Then Shafi Marika, Mr. Shafi Marika for another 13 to 15 years. These members uh, gave a notable, as the principals gave a notable contribution for the development of the college. With due respect to the rest of the uh, principals who ran the college, I must offer a bouquet of flowers for these uh, past prince, principals who brought the college to this level. And it is very important to remember the very first principal who was only for about one or two years, O.E. Martinez. And the second principal, the 
Mr. McKaiser. Both of them were not Muslims. Today, after 229 years, when our society is struggling to understand the coexistence and the problem between the communities and races, Zahira College, at the very beginning of the 20th century, set an example to the rest of the world. It is a proud history of our college. So when it comes to education, as I mean, going by the religious teachings that you should go to anybody, anywhere to gain education. That is the importance that the religion itself has given to us. Ladies and gentlemen, therefore, we have all the reasons to be proud of our college and to see that the college moves forward for many more centuries and serving the nation. I do not take this opportunity to speak about the history of the college as every one of you are well aware of, the, of it. When it comes to the latter part of the century and the beginning of 21st, or the, when we came into the third millennium, we see that the society got changed and the needs of the society got changed. And we have to think out of box for the development of the Sri Lankan nation. I think we have to explore the possibilities of assisting this country by producing people who are worthy enough to live in this beautiful country. I believe that we as the present administrators and the policy makers, both in the college and in the government, will have to think very deeply in order to see that we move into a better world. It is only through education that we will be able to do it. Unlike in the past, we are facing a situation today for the last three years, 2019 April onwards, the school going children are facing untold hardships. And one after the other, the closure of schools, interruption for education gives a lot of problems. And we as the adults should understand the minds of the small kids. If you take, for example, the grade one student of this year, how many days he has gone to school? And the grade two students who entered the college last year, how many days he has got through, gone, gone to the school? I mean, these are the memorable days of one's life. The primary kids will ever remember in their adult life as well. So I would like to mention that all of us here, all of us here have a duty. We cannot put the blame or we cannot put all the responsibilities on one segment of society or one set of stakeholders or we can't tell something against somebody. It is the teamwork, it is the team spirit in which we have to work and to see that how well, how best we can come over this, this situation. We all are very proud that we were having the good days in school and today we are proud Zahirians, proud students of this prestigious college. But looking at today's context, we must work hard to see that our children are also given the same or better situation for them to get the teaching learning experience. Zaira College today, compared to the past few decades, have come like a phoenix from the ashes to serve the community. I think the present set of students are enjoying that. Therefore, it is quite important to understand the present predicament that we all are facing globally and we must try hard to come over it. If we can do that, I think that will help for us to build the nation. So let us pray almighty to shower blessings on this school and the school community and all those who are working hard and also to see that the policy makers, particularly who are responsible, take right steps in the right direction.
So let me conclude my short speech by once again thanking all those who have joined here. And I bring warm greetings to the panelists. You have made the college proud. Honorable Ali Sabri is a proud product of our college and he's the only one who represents us in the cabinet. So college is proud of you. And then we have Professor Tuli De Silva. He's always with us. Whenever we call him, he comes like, like he coming back to his own, his own place. So thank you very much, Professor. You have made proud our college. And I also remember with gratitude, Major General Yusuf, another important segment that you are representing by being in the forces. And your achievement really made us proud. And then we are also happy to note the present Chairman Board of Governors, a well-known entrepreneur, and also he's leading the business community in different forums with his experience. And he has also put his heart and soul together to develop the college for many years. And it has paid, it has given a lot of dividends to the college. Thank you very much for being with us. And I can't remember, I can't forget, Engineer J. Bari, a proud product of golden era of the college. That is Dr. Aziz's, uh, Principal Aziz's period. And he's always with us to help the college. So all of you are doing good and hope that your blessings also will help us to develop the college. So having said that, I say all the best to all of you and may Almighty Allah bless all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Principal Sir. It was indeed a great speech from you, which inspired all of us. Thank you, sir, again. Next, I would like to uh, invite our panelists today. So I will start with Honorable Minister, Minister of Justice, Honorable Al Sabri. Minister, greetings for you. Uh, greetings. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good evening. Next, I would like to invite Deshavandu Professor Turi De Silva. Good morning here and good evening there. Um, Professor Turi is joining all the way from uh, United States, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Thanks, uh, Professor. And next, I would like to invite AJ Bari, Captain, also Engineer. Captain Bari is joining all the way from Canada. Next, I would like to invite Chairman Board of Governors, a well-known entrepreneur in Sri Lanka, Mr. Fawzul Hamid. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Good evening. Uh, so I think uh, I would like to invite uh, Major General, retired Major General Farid Yusuf of Sri Lanka Army. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everyone. I'm Salam, sir. President of World Boys Association, Mr. Alavi Mukhtar, is yet to join us due to some technical issues. So we are expecting him shortly. So I'll move on with the uh, questions. It's not questions. It's a, it's a discussion. Like, So we are here to talk about the days of days you had at Zaira. Everyone, all of you were schooled in Zaira at different eras and at different periods where the principals were and officials. So I would like to ask uh, who was your principal and the teachers at, at your days at Zaira? I would like to start with Honorable Minister. Yeah. Actually, I uh, came to Zahira in the year 1987 for my A-levels. I was there for um, just uh, more than two years. I had my A-levels at Zahira. I had a good time. Uh, actually, during my time, the principal was uh, Mr. Irshad. 
um, he was the principal and after that uh, there were a couple of other uh, principals who were also there um, we had uh, in fact uh, we had a joint class uh, for both maths and the uh, bio stream mm, several of our friends are uh, today actively involved and i know one of them uh, azreen is in in the board itself uh, zahir um, then of course uh, in that class uh, i we i was fellow in the 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 bio stream um, where uh, we had common classes for physics and chemistry and we have separate classes for zoology and botany and they had the applied and the pure maths as you put it at that time uh, i remember our teachers uh, of course uh, uh, disana aika was my uh, chemistry teacher um, and mr atapattu was a uh, zoology teacher recently he contacted me and i was in uh, after a long time after i became a minister he got to know and we got the number and we had a uh, long chat uh, and mr sumana siri was our uh, physics teacher they were the main mainly they were the people who were teaching us we had a, uh, so that all shows we have always saira had uh, promoted coexistence we were together and we always felt uh, we were Uh, and sri lankans uh, living under uh, different cultures together so we really had a good time at that time um, and incidentally uh, one of my teachers uh, mr disana aika uh, when i uh, i for, uh, when i was the sri lankan consul general in jeda we formulated our sri lankan international school jeda um, when i went for a visit in 2015 or 16 uh, he was teaching there uh, now as i think is a deputy principal there so it's, uh, it's nice memories when i go there and to see um, the school which i established uh, is now uh, one of my own teacher had become uh, a deputy principal there so uh, good time we all had at zahira um, and i really like that uh, few uh, years of my uh, studies at zahira college and it's really shaped me thank you honorable minister it was really good uh, to go back to the school days and remember the names as well of your teachers and uh, next i would like to ask from professor turi de silva regarding your school days and the era you schooled yes uh, i was also at trier college for my a levels that that time is called the university entrance examination and i stayed 3 years at trier during which period i met so many muslims tamils and singalis it was a very mixed class and we had no difference whatsoever we all studied together with teachers like uh, mr roy de mel my chemistry teacher who led me to the profession of chemistry mr gafur mr de silva bk de silva and so forth we were really large classes not so small at that time when compared to other schools and uh, the the entry to the university was pretty uh, high from the college so during my period at zaira i was fortunate enough to be a member of the prefix board and also the senior prefect of the junior hostel where yeah, i was somewhat disliked by the muslim students because no one could stay away from mosque because i was going around the hostel to see everyone goes to the mosque and same when i was as a prefect of the school college the students could not escape not going to the mosque after uh, finishing the school so they would have had their own difference with me but my being uh, strict on them to follow the religious activities more than that i was very fortunate to be with uh, zaira principal who always encouraged the students to study hard and go to high high levels when i started studying at the a level or uh, was the entrance exam i wanted to be a doctor 
and i went when i went to the interview i was told you better be a chemist rather than a doctor because my chemistry marks were so high that i finally ended up in the science faculty and the chemistry department and became professor and so forth and went up to the last stage of uh, hierarchy in the university being the chancellor of the university uh, and also my experience with the community at large not not single is alone helped me to be very uh, efficient when i was serving in the united nations when i was serving in other countries as uh, academic and uh, industrialist so it's a very good experience to be uh, as irian because all our teams debating team do you know when test team local can consist of all three uh, races so we were brethren and fighting for the same cause and we still are the same and i have taken the opportunity to be of any help to saira college whenever they need it because i owe my my achievements up to now uh, because of saira college the primary education uh, did only gave us the primary knowledge and the specialization came only after uh, attending zaira so uh, i am thankful to the principal now also for recognizing us and this the this batch of students for organizing this uh, founders day and inviting me to be a participant at that and i must say that i was always with ata bar captain bari all throughout my career even up to now we are very good friends we had three friends aga bari myself and mohammed mr mohammed who was a student of uh, who was a teacher i was being a student so uh, i owe most of my uh, communications with all races due to saira college and i respect college and i am thankful to my old principal and the staff for helping me to be at this level now thank you thank you professor it was indeed uh, we are always proud of who you are today as zairians so it was uh, very good listening to you and we welcome uh, shalai mukta president of old boys association and secretary of board of governors to the show and uh, the same question on the days of zaira and the era of uh, where you were at zaira i want to ask from captain engineer aj bari i think uh, captain aj bari is having some technical issues so i'll move on uh, by asking major general regarding major general farid yusuf of his days at zaira uh, oh yes uh, actually i joined zaira in 1980 and then i completed my education up to a levels at the time i was in school my principal was mr shaf marika and my class teacher was uh, mr barnagi and he is uh, my uh, maths teacher and he is a sports master well uh, uh, in other teacher i can i can only remember only few names in other teachers have uh, uh, mr kolita is a he uh, is a science teacher and khalil then khalil hajia so uh, thanks dear major general farid yusuf on your words as well next i would like to move on the chairman this hamid thank on you. his days at zaira yes uh, thank you uh, yes my days uh, i would say uh, i really enjoyed uh, my school life uh, the my school uh, principal was shafi marika and the late shafi marika and the i think that's a time really school was getting into a top position but he ran with all the difficulties and my couple of my teacher which i will never forget 
was um, the Mrs. Shabi Marika, who was teaching social studies, very committed. Even after I left school, I was so much connected because of her passion for looking after us. That was incredible. Then also Mr. Mar Baranage, a teacher, sportsmaster, who was my one of my favorite teacher. I'm yet in touch with him and unbelievable. So there were great memories. I was in the hostel for some time, then uh, left hostel and came from from my parents' home. And we, I was uh, a captain three, four sports, I captain the college record, football, hockey, and I was house captain. So my uh, life at Zaira, like being, you know, uh, morning to evening, I come in the morning, I go in the home, I go in the evening because after school, I, I practice. So the school days, I think we all love, right? We all love and we cannot forget. So my credit goes to the my teachers who have inspired me in a different way. So that's my message. Thank you, Chairman. It was good to listen from your end as well. Uh, next, I would like to ask an interesting question. Uh, school days are the best days we make memories. Be it what kind of memory, even positive, negative, any interesting memories you will make that you will never forget until for a long time you will never forget. It, uh, so I would like to ask some, what are, uh, give, give us some interesting stories of your school days which you will never forget. I'll start from Honorable Minister himself. Uh, we had uh, several memories. One of the uh, memories, um, well, some of them are as uh, usual as you, as you put it uh, correctly. Some are present, some are unpleasant. Um, one of the saddest memories were um, actually I was just boarded down the uh, 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 a kind of a boarding house uh, in the Metagoda Road close to the Minan uh, Mosque there next to Katavala Mulla. So we in the morning, we uh, about 25 30. Zahirians slowly walk up to the uh, Zahira. Uh, everyone comes and pick us and come. So one day uh, we had a, heard a massive explosion that the day when the bomb blast went off and our whole science laboratory um, it got damaged. That was a, a terrifying memory what we have. So that uh, that one of the uh, memories which have been, uh, of course, uh, we managed to rebuild it and uh, continue our education very shortly after shifting our science lab uh, temporarily to some other places. Now there is a lovely um, building which has come up there. Other than that, there are several nice memories. All of us uh, get together immediately after our, uh, our classes and used to go to uh, Nugegoda as a team. Uh, Ten of us also uh, go to classes uh, in Railway Avenue and Rotary on those days and Sussex. Um, I remember one of my good friends who is a he is a doctor now. Uh, I think he's right currently the MOH in Gampala. Uh, uh, I don't want to mention his name. He always have a uh, ongoing argument in our class. Uh, my uh, um, science, uh, my my physics teacher uh, asked him, "What what do you want to do? Uh, what is your expectation?" He says that I will somehow or other go to the uh, medical faculty. Then he. He used to give a two rupee coin and say, yes, it's very close here. You can get into 138 bus and uh, go and get down there. Have a, have a look at the place and come back. You will never go there. <laughs> uh, but he was, he, he was very fr uh, fond of him. But after some period of time, uh, he was very persuasive. Uh, he never gave up. Uh, though he couldn't uh, get into the Sri Lankan uh, medical faculty, he somehow rather um, achieved his dream. He went abroad, studied and became a uh, doctor, so uh, uh, lovely memories we always uh, all we all had, and and sometime of course uh, we also used to go to this uh, uh, the Navalagiri cafe or whatever the cafe that there, uh, the Tosaka days, and of course we know I mean uh, those days I was not the justice minister nor a lawyer. Sometimes we <laughs> don't pay and uh, run away. Uh, so uh, all those were lovely memories. Uh, thank you, Honorable Minister. It was really nice to listen to some stories regarding uh, those days as well. And now I would like to ask from Professor Dooley on his any unforgettable memory that you have from the school days at Zaira. Yes, uh, 
I was also the secretary of the Angora House because uh, all hostelers were in that house, Angora House. And we as uh, prefects were fortunate to get the buriyani that is being served for the cricket teams that come to play. So we wanted more home place than uh, away place because we were looking out for the buriyani that the tricks get after the team was fed. So that was a nice experience and I thought it continued after our time also. Then I must be very thankful to uh, the college because Mr. Aziz, Dr. Aziz, uh, gave us permission to live within the premises of Zaira College during our period at the University of Ceylon at that time. So Bari, myself and M.Y. Muhammad, three of uh, us were given one room in, the, in one of the corners there to live and attend school. So that was a great help because neither Bari nor me were rich people. Muhammad, of course, had his own uh, paddy lands and so forth. So uh, I must be thankful to the college and that was the experience. And during that period, we could earn some money be, by giving tuition to the hostel students. Because the stipend we got from the university as the university was about at that time. So I, and that, was, that, that keeps in my memory all the time. Next is that we were, as prefects, given the chance to punish students, mainly imposition. So if one by mistake, we tell them, right, now stay after school, write 50 lines or 100 lines of something. And, and we were trained how to be strict disciplinarians. That was also part of the student training, which whereas that becomes a part of your, your Post graduate training later on. So we already enjoyed that type of thing. And uh, so we enjoyed our life at Zaira quite well. Thank that you. was indeed good to, good to uh, listen from Professor Tuli itself. Next, I would like to ask from uh, Major General Fariz Yusuf any interesting yes. incident that you want to forget at Zaira? Uh, yes. Uh... I can tell one of the incidents uh, when I was uh, when I was doing my O levels, my class was one of the most notorious class. There was a, a particular incident where our class had a dispute with the one senior, other class, and the leader was one of whose name was uh, Sajan was asked to bring his father. So he hired a person as his father and <laughs> he talked to the principal and he believed the false stories he has told. One of the incident. So that same story had have, have happened during our school days as well. One of most of my batchmates are committing on those. So they we, we experienced those kind of issues as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it because my father was famous uh, at the school. So I want to ask the next question from uh, Chairman Khazulamid. I think he will have a lot to say regarding the uh, interesting yeah. incidents. Uh, yeah, I think uh, for me too, I mean, for me, like every day is very interesting because uh, I love to come to school. Uh, I don't think I have ever cut school because, uh, I mean, College was like for me like my home. Uh, my uh, few things which I really enjoyed one was the prize giving where the uh, former president Jair Javadana came and I I got six prizes. I'd go six times to stage, and and you know I had a few cups and I could carry those days. I didn't have transport. I'd go by bus, and so a couple of my friends were helping me, and the then the. Uh, I think was like getting uh, punished by my favorite teacher, Mr. Baranagya was really uncomfortable uh, for many reasons because see, being a sportsman, he wants to keep, give me after school classes and where I neglect and and those punishments, I really feel uh, uh, very, very uh, 
painful, but yet, and I, I, I think today you cannot punish students. The punishment that I got, sometimes I feel so when I see the present students and uh, we cannot touch them, we cannot do anything. So those days I, in my class, I, I was one of the, uh, I would say, naughtiest. And the, I have to, uh, because I, I neglect due to sports, and the so teachers have been always behind me. Uh, other thing is, uh, the getting uh, getting late. So when you come late, teacher knows I am coming because when a sportsman you go home late, the tired practice. So uh, the the teacher to help me in that sense. So that was those are memories which I can remember. Thank you. Oh, experience <laughs> Make a painting to connect. I will have a Muslim slide, Tamil slide, the Malay, Kumilakande, Malay, Peter Atakande, Gakande, may hospital like India. Taking up your Sahaji, you make a work they will get a gata, a bit of insect than you know, she's sure she's sure anything. We did a medical record. एक समय मतलब वासी अभी और के बाद वासी इनके बुने तीन में गिरगाने के तो नहीं अभी डर ये जाओ से ला टीचर्स ला हिटी अब हर ये डर सीरियस तो मार हुए हैं इतनी सिलेबस से का हर ये डर खाओ करेगा ना ना अभी तो अभी अंतानी नुक्त Thank you, Firaz. Next, I want to ask a question from uh, Chairman Board of Governors. Uh, this is as an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur, what have you learned from Zaira, which you still practice as an being an entrepreneur, being one of the best entrepreneurs in the country? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, uh, with me in the hostel, I had uh, a lot of uh, outstation boys. They also come from a very rich background. For example, late Nalima, just two children were in my uh, hostel room, uh, the dormitory. And uh, so, really, a lot of tough millionaires' children were there. So, Look, most of the time they talk business you know these guys you know they they love to do jamming they want to become big businessmen so uh for me uh that and again uh because of i did sports i got connected with top of the sportsmen like ranjan madhubal and arjun to many top uh schools uh sports captains and uh, sportsmen that really helped me to get network because network you know so when you when you are in the college when you meet other schools you know it's really uh help you to build that your network and that network will to do business so as an entrepreneur i think uh i took over my dad's business uh in the mid 80s and uh, it was i would say not doing that great and uh, and that that experience gave me uh, at Zaira because uh, from one store, 
building four brands, uh, you know, making a strong brand, uh, strand brand for a certain segment of market. So that helped my strategy. When I saw Zyra, I saw the brand. I saw where Zyra was. I, I knew for me, it, it was a brand which was so strong brand. And it did take me a few seconds for me to visualize. People talk about 1560s. And I just analyze and I have to just focus. And mashallah, thank you many who stood with us. And today, that entrepreneurship, uh, that discipline, the sports I got at Zaira. Because when you do sports, you learn a lot of things. You, when you play a game, you know, I played Premier League cricket. Uh, that too helped me because connecting the all national players. So these things, uh, as an entrepreneur, for me, uh, that at Hamidia, that from 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 a scratch like and uh, that 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 menu, that concept, I brought into Zaira and brought everybody together, and that really uh, that is what matters in life. So try to do and help whatever way we can. That is what entrepreneurship. Normal entrepreneurs are like that. They like to do things the way they want. Thank you, uh, uh, Chairman. You hear us? Yeah. Yes. He's experiencing connection issues. Yes. Is that you? Next, uh, Firaz. Uh, no, I was trying to connect uh, Captain Bari. I think he's still having connection issues. I'm back on. He's there. He's there. Oh, yeah, you can hear us, right? I think he's still having a meeting. Yeah, I'll ask Firas to move on with the question. Firas? Major General, uh, Mr. Major General, Tamagi Gahan. Uh, major General, the General, the General, the General, the General, the General, the या उर्दु तिस्पाहक सेवा कला इतनी ही आवास इतने मटाती बे ती मामा उमागे पास है लाभ दिया उस अस्पेल है इबरा कर अल्ला मटे इतना हिंगा हम उधर टबाद दिन के रेट टॉपिस अगेन एक बच्चे हनुआ मामा में दास नाम से आसू पहवारशी युद्धा हम उधर टबाद दिला दिया तलाव युद्धा हम उधर पूर्व पास ले Japan Lapala, uh, Dekalutin Rek Pashing, Anu Hatarshi, Mama, Udamudabe, Aurdu, Tispahaka, uh, Seva Kalak, Mimakarla, uh, Didas Tahaname, Marima Sima Mishra Magia, Ekalitula, uh, Tavashin Kiranan, Udamudabe, Uriutia Timba. Atastavadin Samaga Mama Hunga Kriyan with the Velta, the Mila Itia Udu Spark Seva Kali Tula Utrunagir Moseva Kala Tingi Kali Tula, Pankarku, Pishta Sevi, Mata Kelly Padak Campino, Sevi Haki Makoshing. Pahalo could have idea. It is Magi Siva Kali Tula, Mata Hamuna Yudamda Tula, Patamalakaran, India, Pakistani, Nepali, Egypt, China, Bangladesh, Pahalo Kitratina, 
ತಿಂಗ್ವಿ ಮಟ ಹಂಬುಣ ಇವಾಗ ಡಾಟಾಲ್ ಸೇವೆ ಕಾರಣ ಇವಾಗ ಜನಟ ಸೇವೆ ನೀವು ತಿನ್ನುವ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಜೇಷ್ಠ ಬ್ರಿಗೇಡಿಯವರು ಅತುಲು ಇಲ್ಲದಾರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನಿ ದಹದ ಪವನ ಇವಾಗ ಮಗೆ ನಿಲ್ದಾರಿ ಸಮಗ ರಾಜಕಾರಿ ಕಲೆ ಓ ಇಟಿ ಪಾಬ ಲೇಖಕಿ ಯುದ್ಧ ಇಟಿ ಮೂಲ ಧನ್ವತೆ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಯೋನುಸ್ ಓ ವಿಧಾಂಗ ಕ್ರಿಯಾನ್ವತೆ ಮಿಯಂಗಿಯ ಓ ಜೈರ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಇಟಪು ಮಮ್ಮ ಅಣ್ಣ ತರಬೇ ಜೈರ ರಗ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ನಾಯಕ ಕರಪು ಮೇ ಕ್ರೀಡ ಕೇಕ್ ಉಗತಮ ಎತ್ತರ ಮಗೆ ಯುದ ಮುದ ಅವಟ ಬೆಂದಿನೇ ತು ಮಗೆ ಪುಡಿ ಕಾಲಿನ ತಿಬ್ಬ ಏಕ ಆಂಬಿಷಸ್ ಏಕ ಕೇನು ಮಗೆ ಯುದ ಮುದ ಅವಟ ಕರಲ್ಲ ಏ ಅವರು ಸಿಸ್ಪಾಕ ಸೇವೆ ಬಸ್ ಇದಷ್ಟ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಮೇಜನ್ ರಕ್ಮಣಿ ಫಾರಿಜ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಜನ್ ಫಾರಿಜ್ ಯೂಸುಫ್ and uh, firaz i think you can ask an expression from uh, honorable minister in english language oh uh, garu everything was going on like but uh garu matuma antima washe janati pati ni ni sorry uh apka tana pare yoge ma makema ti matuma gahatu memu tiene family samane ki old old like mera pack schooling ganna pulwa yeng ganna pulwa uh mama kema ti road janati pati ni 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 bare ganna pulwa nevi ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಪೆಲ ದಾಕ್ವಾಯಿಗತ್ತೆ ಕಲುತರ ಮುಸ್ಲಿಂ ಮಧ್ಯ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಉತ್ತನಿಂದ ಅಪ ಭಾಷಾಕ್ಲಬುನಾಮತ್ತರ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ಗೆ ಆಕಾರ್ಯಟ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಪೌಲಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರವತನೆ ಕೊಲಂಬಟ ಆವಮ ಅಭಿಯೋಗ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಅಕ್ತಿಬುನ ಅಪಿಟ ಏ ವೇಳಾವಿ ಜಾಹಿರ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಆವಮ ಮಟ ಕಾರಣ ದೇಖಾ ವಿಶೇಷೇನ್ಮ ಸಂಧಾನ ಕರಣ ತೋ ಏಕಾತ್ತಮಾಯಿ ಮಗೆ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಟಿ ಏಕ ದೀವನ ಕರಂಡ ಮಗೆ ಪೌರುಷ ದೀವನ ಕರಂಡ ಉದಾಹರಣ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮೇಕೋಗಾಮಿಯ ಇದೀಗ ಓಂಗೆ ನಟ ಉನ್ನತ ಅಪ್ಪ ಗಫೂರ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಗ್ಯಾಮ ಓಂಗೆ ಚಾಯ ರೂಪ ತೀನು ಏಕಾತ್ ತೆಕ್ಕ ಮಮ್ಮ ಕೀಯವನ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಏ ಪಿಲಿ ಬಂದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಕರಲ್ಲ ಕೀಯವಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಮತ್ತೆ ತೇರುಣ ಅಪಿ ಕೊಚ್ಚರ ದುರಟ ಮೇ ಕತ್ತಿಟ ಎನ್ನಟ ಮೇ ರಟೆ ಪುರೋಗಾಮಿ ಜಾತಿ ಆಗಾಮ ಪುಲ ಬೋಲೆ ಬೆಲ್ಲಿನ ತೊರಬ ಪರಾರ್ಥಕಾಮಿ ಇಲ್ಲಸ್ತ ಕೊಚ್ಚರ ಮಹಾನ್ ಸ್ವಿಲಾ ತೀನು ಅಂತ ಸಂಹಾರ ವೇಳಾವಧಿ ಏ ಕಾಲದಿ ಓಣ್ಣ ದದಿವ ವಿವೇಚನೆ ಲಾಕ್ವೆಲಾ ತೀನು ನಮೋತ್ ಪಶು ಕಾಲೀನವ ಓಣ್ ಕರಪು ಹೊಂದ ದೇವಾಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಸು ದಾಕಿನ್ನ ಪಟಂಗ ಏ ಅನುವ ಮಮ ಹಿತನವ ಏ ಕಾಲೇ ತುಳ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏಕ ಪಾಸಲ್ ಹಾಕಿ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಹಾಕಿ ವಿಶಾಲ ಅದ್ದಕ್ಕಿಂ ರಾಶಿಯ ಕ್ಲಬ್ನ ಏ ಅರುಣಮ ಏ ಕಾಲೇ ತುಳ ವಿವಿಧ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠವಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನಾಯವ ಅಪಿಟ ಅನುನಗನ್ನ ಕಥಾಕರನ್ನ ಬೆರಗರನ್ನ ಹಕಿಯಾವ ಲಬ್ನ ಏಕ ತೆಕ್ಕ ವಿಶಾಲ ಅನ್ನರ ಜೈರಾಯಕ್ಕೆ ಲಬ್ನ ಐಕೇನ್ ಏಕ ಪಿಲ್ ಬಂದವ ಕಿಸಿಂದು ಸಕ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೇ ಪಾಸ್ತೇ ಈ ಪೌರುಷತ್ವ ಕೊಚ್ಚರ ಅವಶ್ಯವೇ ನಾವು ಕೇಳಿ ಕೂಗಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ದನ್ನ ಓನೇಮ ವೃತ್ತಿಯ ವೃತ್ತಿಯ ಸುಧುಸುಕಮ್ಮ ಓನ ಹುಗಕ್ಕಾಯಟ ಇತ್ತೇನು ವೃತ್ತಿಯ ಸುಧುಸುಕಮ್ಮ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಎಕ್ಕ ವಿತರಾಯ್ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿಯತ್ತ ಲಾಯರ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಇನ್ನು ಅವಿಶಿದ ಹಕ್ಲಾ ಅಮೋತ್ ಕಾಮತ್ಮ ಸೀಮಿತಾಯ್ ಸಿ ಯಕ್ ಕಿಸಿಯ ಪನಹತ್ತಮೈ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ವೆನ್ನೆ ಏಕೇನು ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಲಾಯರ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ವೆನ್ ಇತಕೊಟ ಮೇಕ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಕರನ್ನ ಎಕ ಹೊಮದ ಕೇನೆಕ ಪಿಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದವ ಲೋಕು ಅಭಿಯೋಗ ತೇನು ತೇರು ಗಾನ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಿತನ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿತರಾಕ್ ಎಕ ಅಂಗ ವಿತರಾಯ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೊಹಮದ ಕರಗಾನೆ 
මල්ටි ටාස්කින් කොහොමද කරගන්න කියන එක පිළිබඳව ලයිරකේ ඉන්නකොට අපිට විශාල පාඩම් රාශියක් ලැබුණා. දැන් අර ප්‍රොෆෙසර් කියපු වදියට සමහර වෙලාවෙදි අපි තේරුම් ගත්තා ලයිරකේ විතරක් ඒ කාලේ තිබුණා අපි මම ඉන්න වකවානුව තුල ප්‍රින්සිපල්ස් එක කීප දෙනෙක් අවාසනාවකට වගේ කාලෙන් ඒක අර අලස්ස ඉඳලා ගිහිල්ලා කාලේ. එතකොට මිස්ටර් රෂාදි තියට පස්සේ තාවෙක් කෙනෙක් ආවා කීප දෙනෙක් හිටියා තමයි ආගේ නම් මතකත් නැහැ. ඉතින් ඒක පොඩි ටර්මොයිල් පීරියඩ් එකක්. ඒ හින්දා අපිට සිද්ධ වුණා අර තමන් අතර තම තමන් හිසර තම අතමේ හෙවනැල්ලා කියන වගේ අපිට ඉනොවේට් කරලා අපි කොහොම හරි ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕනේ කියලා තැනට යන්න සිද්ධ වුණා. එතකොට අපි ස්කෝලෙන් ඉගෙන ගන්නවා හවස අවිල්ල පාඩම් කරනවා. අවස මම ඉන්න හිටපු තැන මගේ පන්තියේ හිටපු තුන් හතර දෙනෙක්ම හිටියා. ශාකිර් සිරාජ් රාජ්‍යන් ජීවතුන් කියන නෑ සහ අද්‍රීම් කියලා. අපේ පන්තියේම තුන් දෙනෙක් මේ මම බෝඩ් වෙලා හිටපු දෙමට ගොඩ හරි. ඉතින් අපි ඔවුන් එක්ක එකතු වෙලා හවස වල්ලාවට වෙනම චමරියක් දාලා එහෙම නැත්නම් මේ වෙනම ක්ලාසස් එකට ගිහිල්ලා එහෙම නැත්නම් මාරු සබ්ජෙක්ට්ස් එකට කතා කරලා ටීම් වර්ක් එක ගැන විශාල විදියට ඉගෙන ගන්න හැකි වුණා. ඒත් එක්කම මගේ පන්තියට ආවා මාලික් කියලා එක කෙනෙක් කැන්ඩි ඉඳලා. ඒ එයා මම ගෙන්න ගත්තා මගේ මම ඉන්න තැනම. එතකොට මේ නෙට්වර්කින් එක මේ මේ ගෲප් ස්ටඩි එක මේ අභියෝග වලට මූණ දෙන එක කොහොමද අපි මේකට ටාගට් කරන්නේ කියන එක පිළිබඳව හොඳ අවබෝධයක් පන්නරයක් මට ධෛර්යයකින් ලැබුණා. ඒක පසු කාලීනව මට මගේ මම ලෝ කොලෙජ් එකට ගියාම ලෝ කොලෙජ් එකේ සිංහල විවාද කණ්ඩායම මම නියෝජනය කරා. ලෝ කොලෙජ් එකේ ලෝ ස්ටුඩන්ට් යුනියන් එකේ ජෙනරල් සෙකරටරි වුණා. මුස්ලිම් මජ්ලිස් එකේ සභාපති වුණා. ඊට පස්සේ යම් තන් මගේ මේක මේ මම ඕට්ස් අරන් අවුරුද්දක් යනකොට ශ්‍රංකාවේ ලාබාලතම කොන්සල් ජෙනරල් වරයා හැටියට ජදානුවරට ගියා. මේ සියලු අභියෝග ජයගන්න මම හිතනවා සයිරා එකෙන් ඒ කාලය තුල මට මගේ වැදගත්ම හැමෝම දන්නවා අවුරුදු 10යි 20යි 21යි අතර කාලය තාමත්ම වැදගත් කාලය. ඒ කාලේ අවුරුදු 3 4 අපි සයිරා එකේ ගෙවල දැම්මා. ඒ කාලය තුල ලැබුණු පන්නර මට විශාල වශයෙන් अनन्यता पानरे लबुने ये राहिरा वातावरणे तुले इतिहासे आदि ने क्रीमेन लादर याम्याम खानी विद हेतु कोटे के न साहवा अध्यक्षीम हेतु कोटे के न किए ने का मामा जामतना संतोषे ना आड़ बरें किया ने तो ना तो अनिवार्य है मामा राहिरा राहिरा में ने लबुनु पानरे हम दाम मटर तो कु पानरे आ किए ने का साह मामा हम दाम में जा� उदाहरणकोट දැන් යනකොට අපිට පේනවා ලයිරා ඉස් ගෙටින් බැක් ඔව් ලයිරා ඉස් බැක් සෝ ඇයි තින්ක් ලයිරා හැස් අ ග්‍රේට් ෆියුචර් ඇන්ඩ් ඉට් ඩිසර්ව්ස් ටු බී ට්‍රීටඩ් ඇස් වන් ඇන්ඩ් ඉට් ඉස් නොට් අ ඇන් ඕඩිනරි ස්කූල් ඉට් හැස් ටු කම් ඔන් පාර් වුත් ද බෙස්ට් ස්කූල්ස් ඉන් ද කන්ට්‍රි ඇන්ඩ් වී හැව් දැට් පොටෙන්ෂියල් ඇන්ඩ් ආම් ෂුවර් ඕල් ඉෆ් ඕල් ඔෆ් අස් ගෙට් ටුගෙදර් කකුලෙන් අදින්න නැතුව එකිනෙකට කකුලෙන් අදින්න නැතුව එකිනෙකට බාධා කරන්න නැතුව එකමුතුව වැඩ කරොත් අපි වගේ තව දාස් ගානක් සිසුන්ගේ ඇස් පාදන්න නුවණස පාදන්න මේ ස්කෝලයට හැකියාව තියෙනවයි කියන මම විශ්වාස කරා. ඔක්සිදී එහෙම තුමනි ඔබතුමන්ලා සිටින වගේම
Thank you. Uh, thank you. And uh, let's uh, come to the last two questions for the panelists. Uh, the specialty of our panel is not only as Zahirians, as Sri Lankans also be very much proud of their achievements. There are a lot of people who are watching our show today from all around the world, regardless of being a Zahirian or not. Today, they are watching as Sri Lankans. So uh, I want to ask from the panelists on the message for all the viewers and how Zaira is an emblem for national unity. So I'll start with Yaman itself. Sorry, uh, don't mind repeating that question, please. Uh, I just want to, uh, because a lot of people watching this show are being Zahirian or non-Zahirian as Sri Lankans as well. So I just want to know, uh, convey the message, convey your message for uh, all the viewers who are watching as Sri Lankan and being a Zahirian as well and how Zaira is... I think uh, there is a... Sorry, I'm not getting the... There is a signal issue. Again. Again. Can you hear me? Again. Uh, Chavan, sir, they are asking the uh, question because the, uh, most of the viewers are watching our show. So, yeah, I uh, was asking convey a message to viewers all around the, around the Sri Lankans and Zahirians and all the other people uh, from you. We are asking to convey a message. Yes, uh, thank you. The great question. Like the Honorable Minister said, you know, uh, like come and support because uh, I can, I must say that uh, Mr. Ali Sabri was one of the first person which uh, I had uh, contacted and and that was almost 10, 12 years ago. And the, he saw the situation. And so when, when the right people come and rally behind the school, like today, you know, and the, yeah, this, this, this sort of platform, we need to create good platform, good image, good people should come forward. You know, I think uh, you all should be proud. I like the concept that are you proud of the Zairean? So we all should be proud. So uh, for that, you need to stay around, you know, and bring your children. So uh, now we have a, such a big demand. And before 2006, we couldn't see uh, that sort of old boys coming. But mashallah, now see, we see a lot of doctors, professionals, good entrepreneurs, you know, there are many people bringing children from different parts of the country. So, rally behind the school, talk, support the school, and they, are, they can guide us, tell us something interesting, and help the school in whatever way you can. That will be great. And always, there is any issues, please communicate with us. And like Mr. said, we can be the top school. Provided we unite, we all are on the same page, and when there is any weaknesses, we can talk together without uh, finding fault. Then definitely we are on the track. I must say the college is getting into a bigger track, bigger picture. We are coming out with a, a top class course, sports complete uh, with modern uh, uh, modern equipment that is with including. Uh, basketball indoor squash court gym new, new pavilion uh the with all the sports you get from all indoor sports we join in the swimming pool then we are coming up with a new set of classroom with the indoor cricket and now school will be a very fully fledged school you know it will, it will be part of the like st thomas or Trinity. if you come in and see we have created a great ambience now it's the hand of the principal to give the next level of education, take the school into next two level. So for, for that, we need people of your caliber, everyone, you know, keep talking positive, and then definitely we are going to reach. Because I have been seeing a lot of different countries, they have different OBAs. I have visited most of those uh, countries and made the OBA groups. Mashallah, they are all 
helping us in different way and I, that's the way and, and and most importantly we must not damage the school name that is very important and i think if we go on that way definitely we will achieve uh, what you want so there are a lot of the good things won't happen at the school next two three years make dua and help us and definitely we are on the right track i must say principal and the team and my board and the oba and the pta all are trying to do their best and i hope we can get our target right thank you thank you Tom, sir apologies uh, for missing out on uh, the show because i have some issues with my service provider as everyone is having these days uh, so apologies for that and i would like to move on uh, with uh, professor Tuliti Silva on uh, the message for all Sri Lankans and uh, our fellow Zairians who are watching the show. Yes, uh, now I, I did not know the Honorable Minister, but the moment I heard he was all Zairian, we were proud of it. That is the sort of reaction that we have. You are part of the school and one of your Poor boys have successful story. We are proud of it, and we like, well, we like to get them to greater heights if possible. So he has also set up an example as a minister, different from the rest of the ministers, because he behaves in a quite uh, respectable way than most of the ministers. I'm sorry to say that. Uh, so, as a Zairian, we are proud to see as many Zairians as possible occupying good places, doing service to your country and also serving the Sri Lankan community and not the Muslim or the single ego, uh, uh, this divided setup. So I think our, our students at Zaira will be brought up in that fashion so that in the future all our uh, students will be proud to say that we are Syrians because some schools the the students do not want to belong to that school right so therefore we are quite uh, correct in our approach and the way I hope will, will uh, uh, prosper from year to year and achieve the goal of being one of the main uh, schools, colleges that will promote and produce uh, successful and productive people to Sri Lanka. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tovali. Indeed, uh, having distinguished old boys like you gives great honor for Zaira and gives great name for Zaira and the continuation of Zaira. Uh, thank you, Professor Tovali, for your time as well. Next, I would like to uh, move on with uh, the general Faris Yusuf on his message for all Zairians. Uh, yes, my main advice to all Zairians who are watching, I encourage the all youth to join the army as an officer, as it will mold your character in the office and gentleman. Thank you. Thank you. General Faiz Yusuf on his words, and finally, <clears throat> Honorable Minister, uh, a message for all Zairians, non Zairians who are watching this show and Sri Lankans, especially because you are uh, we are very proud of who you are today, and also how Zaira is an emblem for national unity as well. So, uh, your message, sir. Yeah, it's very, very, very important. Now, vaccines uh, give us a very good uh, 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 lessons. It says, no one is safe until everyone is safe. So we thought, some of the Western countries thought, we quickly get our people vaccinated. That's the end of it. But you know, then you neglected the rest of the world, people who can't afford. What happens? Vaccine mutate and it comes with a different form. Problem is not over. It's similar for a country. No one is safe until all communities are safe. We must understand. So we must see all of us as Sri Lankan. Zahira is an important brand. So 
Sri Lankan brand of Islam, Sri Lankan brand of Muslims, Zahira is a forerunner, flag bearer. We must understand we need to carry that torch in front. Zahira had done it in the past. If you study the uh, history of Zahira, how Zahira became a beacon of hope, a beacon of hope for the country and to the community, how it made the uh, Sri Lankan, uh, the Muslim community come into coming on par with the others at that time because of the great forefathers we had. So this is the time that Zaira should take that lead. And Zaira must always come forward and create that brand of Sri Lankan Muslim. Very important. A Muslim which is proud of the country, a Muslim which is uh, very close to each other, a Muslim which is part of a, a, a larger picture of Sri Lankan society and a Muslim who is working towards the coexistence. In order to do that, um, and also I would like ideally, just like Professor is very correctly pointing out, there was a period where more Tamil and Sinhalese students were there. We should embrace that culture. We should set up that, get more um, um, of our Tamil and Sinhalese brothers also to come in um, to, to the extent which is at least practically possible and set up an example. I'm sure if we can do that, um, uh, that that's my message because it is important. Once again, as late uh, Mangala Samaravira has very famously told, no community in this country is safe until all communities feel this country belongs to all of us. So we need to create that. And Muslims uh, and, uh, and Zahira should lead that mindset change. And we can do it, and I'm sure we will do it. Uh, hopefully, we will have better. I know this is a very challenging times. I hope these times will pass. It has always happened in the history. And as we walk out of this kogmaya we are in now, let us walk into a very sensible Sri Lanka where diversity and pluralism is celebrated, not seen as an obstacle. And Zahira plays a, and Zahirians, not only Zahira, Zahirians play a role in that. And that is of a decisive one. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. It was indeed a pleasure listening to your words of encouragements as well. Uh, so, next, I would, uh, so thank you for all five panelists. It was a pleasure talking to you all, sharing the screen with such stalwarts legends produced by zaira is simply amazing for someone like in the caliber of me so i enjoy talking to you all so um, i apologize if i have done anything any mistakes from my side so thanks everyone uh thank you for the panelists for joining the show today and uh captain uh aj bari had some connection issues today so so he couldn't join us so yeah, we missed him daily as well. So next, I would like to invite President of All Boys Association of Zaira College and the Secretary of Governors, Mr. Aloy Uttar, to do the closing note. Can you hear me? Do we have Aloy Uttar? Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. President, we can hear you. Yes, uh, I think uh, we had a good time with all our distinguished uh, speakers, and we always had the privilege of listening President, to your them. video is off. Yes, Mr. President, we can hear you. Yes, uh, I think uh, we had a good time with all our I think the uh, president is having some issues. Uh, Mr. President, can you hear you? can go on. Uh, 
Uh, so I would like to ask uh, Nuzi Mansour, secretary of the <coughs> All Boys Association and the member of the batch of 2011 uh, to do the vote of thanks on behalf of the uh, president as well. Uh, on mute. Nuzi on mute. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Akhil Masoon, uh, for this opportunity. So, dear members of the panel, Chairman Board of Governors, Mr. Fauzul Hamid, Principal, Mr. Rezvi Marikat, President OBA, and President OBA, Mr. Alavi Mukhtar, and the Executive Committee member, and everyone, Assalamu Alaikum, Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu, and a good evening. It was indeed a privilege listening to all five of our son, great sons of Mother Zaira sharing their story on the time they spent on the school and how it helped them to achieve uh, achieve greater heights in their lives. Uh, we hope every Zairian uh, who are watching this learned something out of this program and indeed you all felt proud to be Zairians. Uh, once again, my batch of 2011, I would like to thank them for organizing this event, especially our host uh, Akhil Masoon and Firaz uh, for hosting this program, not forgetting uh, Aki Basmon, who was uh, behind this show and who is still in the back end handling all the technical side of this show. Uh, not forgetting Arzan Ishak for all the artworks done and designs. Uh, not forgetting uh, our secretary, Paik, Shakik, Azri, Yusri, uh, uh, Nashik, and uh, everyone else who assisted us to run this program. I would also like to thank the principal, sir for delivering the keynote address along with the introduction to the speakers, chairman of the board of governors, also for guiding us on how this program to be held and not forgetting the time spent by our speakers, uh, especially the minister, uh, uh, Mr. Ali Sabri, Honorable Ali Sabri, thank you so much, sir. And also the other speakers, Mr. Tooley, uh, Professor Tooley and uh, Mr. Akabari and uh, um, uh, Mr. Faris uh, Yusuf, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us and our principal also once again. Uh, uh, um, can't we still add Mr. President uh, to the call? Isn't it possible Possible to add him? Because uh, he was well prepared with a, a closing note. Uh, He's, not program. He's not available uh, in the call. Okay, so okay. with that, uh, this was a much uh, well-organized uh, program and a timely event in order to celebrate the 129 years of excellence of Zahira College. Uh, long live Mother Zahira. Thank you. Thank you, Nuzri. Uh, thanks for your vote of thanks. And uh, so time to wrap up the show. So thanks again for all the panelists who joined the uh, event today. And uh, before we wrap up, I just have uh, two announcements. Tech Startup Week of Zahira College organized by the All Boys of All Boys Association will happen in coming week with the keynote speaker being Bhatia Jayakodi. Tech Startup Weekend, Zaira College is a highly beneficial event for professionals, employees and current and future entrepreneurs that is taking place in over 60 countries around the world. The event is organized by Zaira College Colombo All Boys Association. It provides attendees with an opportunity to learn new knowledge, expand their skills and experience the process of creating a startup within 50 hours. And also Zaira College OBA is organizing a TEDx Zaira College on 23rd October. TEDx event happen frequently all over the world and are independently organized under TED license. 10th September is a deadline to nominate someone of yourself uh, to speak in the event. Please visit to www.tedxzairacollege.com for apply and get more information. And also Zaira College batch of 2011 is organizing an e-gaming uh, e-gaming championship under this lockdown period and, and the pandemic situation to unite all the Zairians around the world. Uh, they are organizing a tournament where all the batches and all the class Zairians can be part of an e-gaming event. So the contact details of for registrations are on the below uh, screen and you can get in touch with the organizers. Uh, thank you again. Thanks to everyone who joined the show from around the world. Everyone learned something from uh, the genius itself who spoke about their journey at Zaira and also the message they gave for current uh, 
generation. Thank you all and uh, uh, wrap up with Salawat. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much.